You see, Theo's faith lost out to chance. So, why bother if life's going to make its own choices? But you know, everything happens for you. Long takes. You know them, you love them, but what is the actual importance and meaning for how they have and should be used? Often long takes can immerse and distract you from the point being made by the story. And in my mind, the art of the long take is riding that line, while also to keep you unconsciously aware of what is being done to affect the audience noticeably when the film is finished. And there are an extensive amount of films to pull from this definition, but as we dig deeper into the meaning behind each one, we start to be able to depict the importance of them in not only classic cinema, but modern cinema. Birdman is a film that is widely known as an essential long take film, and for good reason. Alejandro Gonzalez in Aritu has a clear handle on the purpose of how it's being used in his film but not every film that uses the Warner crutch to explore its story gets a free pass. Birdman explores the oppression of the theater and the lasting effects of critics' critiques on a person, while 1917, for instance, shows the brutality of war and the determination of soldiers. Opinions will differ, but the general consensus is one of these has a far greater impact on the story it's showing to its audience. But what about the usage in films like Touch of Evil, Old Boy, and most importantly, children of men. Films like these use the long take to immerse the audience in what is happening, while also connecting both the background and the characters. Often in cinema, the background can fade away without a conceptual point to be displayed on screen, which in most cases lets us develop our relationship with the characters, but not the environment. There are exceptions to this, of course, but the environment of our own surroundings should be displayed as a more vital factor in film. Alfonso Cuarón understands this and chooses to execute this in the majority of his films. It's how Children of Men is able to profusely hit this point home with its medium it's using to tell stories. Those stories being centered around our surroundings and what a contributing factor they are to how we perceive our world as an adult, as a child, and especially as an infant. When putting it into context in the first scene, things really start to become more clear. Now one could argue two different things that are happening with Theo's character. One, he's so diluted by the prospects of war. Or two, he is so self-centered that his surroundings have so little effect on him until this moment. And in hindsight, us being able to see what the outcome of all of this is, the results support the second conclusion more. So when putting Theo's character side by side from the beginning and the end, we start to see Theo's development as a person, speaking to us, the audience, about being aware of what surrounds us. In examining the rest of the noticeable long takes, each immerses us more and more and provokes us towards the meaning of the message, how we're the same as Theo starting his journey a completely and wholly self-centered person that couldn't care less about his or her surroundings. And this is all conveyed in the way that it's written, the way it's shot like we're part of the movie with the long takes and an almost POV perspective, and the way it communicates on all levels that the reason why infertility may be imminent is because of our own understanding with the environment we touch, the environment we smell, the environment we see, and the environment that surrounds us as a whole. So when seeing the effect long takes have on a film's message, does that mean all films should use long takes? And the answer to that is pretty simple, of course not. When present in the right instance, long takes can be powerful like in Children of Men, but I wouldn't expect or even want to see it in a run-of-the-mill blockbuster movie. Use them to have an effect on the audience other than for them just to be noticed. In short, ride the line to get to the other side of the road, not to just stay on the sidewalk. <laughs>